friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my hat collection and it is gonna be such an exciting video. I've wanted to do this for a while and I have a lot of hats to show you guys and I just love watching these because then it gives you an idea if you wanna buy any of these, you can see them on and you can get like an honest review of how they fit. Um, most of them are from Lack of Color. I do have one from Gigi Pip and then a couple are thrifted as well. So let's get right into it. So the first hat that I have in my stack is this straw one from Lack of Color and she is quite a hat. Like let me tell you, she's probably the widest hat that I own. I don't even know exactly like the circumference, but this is what the hat looks like on. So I have a size small in this hat. Sometimes I wish that I got a medium because it would fit my head better. That's like the size of most of my hats. But for this one, because it is so big, I felt like it could catch the wind and fly off my head easily if it was a medium. So the small kind of keeps it on my head um, better than a medium would. And then it's got this adorable, I'm just gonna untie it got this adorable tie that you can just tie the back, you can tie it in the front, you can even like tuck it inside the hat if you don't want it hanging out, but I think this is so pretty and it's called the Scalloped Dulce Hat, I don't know if I mentioned that, but she is just so fun and I've had my eye on this one for so long and I finally decided to just take the plunge. And I'm glad he did and she looks super cute on a wall as well next up I have quite a few of this style in different colors but here is the teak rancher and I got this one in a size small all of my other ranchers are a size medium um, I think the small fits really nicely on my head um, when I don't have my extensions on but when I have my extensions on this probably wouldn't fit so I like to wear this if I'm kind of just going out without my extensions this one will fit really nicely but I could also do a medium and it would be fine but I really like this one it's classic and it goes with literally everything and I don't know if I said the name this one's called the teak rancher the next up in the rancher collection I have this one called the Zulu rancher it's a little bit more of like a in some light it looks more gray in some light it looks more beige it's just I don't know how to describe the color, it kind of has a pink, muted, beige tone to it. But this one is a size medium, and what I do love about these Zulu Ranchers is that the brim is really like sturdy, and it's not all floppy, and this one is more of a in-between, like neutral. It is not as like warm as the Teak Rancher, but it can go with like cooler tones and stuff. Another one in the Rancher collection, this one's called the Coco Rancher. And I just was looking at their website and it looks like they don't even sell this one anymore. But this is a dark chocolate brown. And this one also is a size medium. And for some reason, like this one isn't as sturdy as like the other two. I'm not sure. Um, but this one's super fun and it's like a darker hat. So if I'm wearing a darker outfit, I want to pair it with this. I don't really like to have black hats as much because I don't really have black outfits. So this is kind of like as dark as I will go. The last one in the rancher collection is at the very bottom of course. But this one is my absolute favorite and my very very first lack of color hat and it's the ivory rancher. So beautiful. She just needs her own moment. So I got this one for my wedding and it was literally the icing on the cake for my wedding. So beautiful, timeless. I go for this one like most often. I always pull her down even though she's white and she can get really dirty if she flies off my head. I just think, I don't know, this one is just breathtaking. So definitely my favorite hat by far in my collection. Next I'm going to show you these two hats are Definitely for a specific type of person. Not everyone is going to like this style on. Um, but this one is called the Goldfinger, and it's kind of more like a cowboy western style. It's definitely a taller hat. I really like this one when I'm doing like crazy photo shoots and stuff, and I just need that like 
iconic hat to put on top. Um, this one is like a caramelly rust color. Super pretty and it's also a size medium. And then the same hat, the gold finger, I have in ivory as well. This one is so, so pretty. Just like I said before, got a taller crown. Definitely for this, a specific type of person. Um, this one is super fun to wear and like dress up and I don't know, just be extra in. Love her. She's got this beautiful little white, um, it's kind of like a suede tie on it. The other one, let me grab it off the floor. The other one's got like a dark brown. Next and last one from Lack of Color is this beautiful one called the Seaside Boater. And this is the only boater style. Actually, no, it's not the only boater style. I lied. Um, this is a boater style hat. So the other ones are kind of come to a point at the front and this one's circular all the way around. And it's got this beautiful gold detailing all the way around like shells, suns, starfish, super fun. And I'm obsessed with shells and all of that. And so I saw this one and I was like, you know what? This one is so extra, but I just need it because it's totally me in a hat. And this is how it looks on. Um, definitely like a little wobbly. So I would suggest getting like hat filler that you can stick inside the brim to make them fit your head better. But this one is also a size medium. And then my only hat that I have from Gigi Pip at the moment, I did have one, but I didn't wear it as much and I sold it to a friend. But the one that I currently have is this beautiful rancher style-esque hat called, let's see, it's called the Monroe Rancher in Dusty Peak. And I especially love this one because it is more of like a terracotta pink rather than like a bright bubblegum pink. Don't get me wrong, like the lack of color ranchers are so beautiful and definitely I love the ones that they have, but like the pink ones that they have, were just like too bright for me and so this color is absolutely beautiful and I really like this brim is a little bit shorter than the lack of color ones so if I kind of just want a more chill hat a more chill outfit I'll go with this one because it's just like not as big and I love how sturdy it is and I also love that it kind of lifts up a tad the ranchers of the lack of color, the lack of color ranchers kind of stick straight out more and these ones um, kind of go up a tiny bit, if you can tell. But this size is, I think it's a medium or a small medium. All of them um, that I have that fit me best are the 57 millimeter all the way around. And that's usually a size medium. So yes, we love her. She's super fun and different. I love Gigi Pip, but I definitely want to start getting more like of their straw hats and stuff. And then next hat that is kind of like a wide brim is this one and this one was a thrift find and I actually do not like this one on. I use it more of like wall decor because I think it's just a cute piece hanging up because it's kind of see-through. But this is what it looks like on and this one is the other boater style that I have. She's cute, don't get me wrong, but just like not my first choice and I couldn't tell you where this one was from. The brand doesn't even like, I can't even read it, but they're fine. And then the other two hats that I'm gonna show you are not wide brim style. Um, they're just kind of more of like a ball cap style. So first is this one. I think I got this one from Free People or Urban Outfitters, but it's the brand Peter Grimm. And it's the only style hat that I have like this because I've tried others on and I haven't liked how they looked on me, but this one, the shape of it was just so nice. So she is a keeper and I definitely wear this one in the fall more than like any other time of the year. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. Okay, and then the last hat that I have is also a thrift find, but it is from Cabela's and it's a baseball cap. And I usually hate baseball caps, but this one actually fits really, really cute. And it was a really cute color. So I went with it. But anyways, that is all for my hat collection haul. 
and well, it's not really a haul, my hat collection that I have. If you guys liked this video and you want to see more of this kind of style, I have a ton of beanies that I wear in the winter and I was thinking about compiling it all into this video, but then I was like, that's going to be way too long because it's like a whole another collection like this, but beanies. So if you like this, then I will definitely be doing one with beanies come fall and winter time. But thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this helped you out and helped you decide if you want to get any of these hats and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.